So now that we've changed our many to many field to have a through model, we actually need to augment the admin so we can actually use that through model. But before I do, I wanted to mention that if you ran test.py, you probably would have noticed something really cool. Let's go ahead and do it. So Python manage.py test. And what we get is 16 successful tests. Now you might remember inside of the playlist model test case, what we did before was we actually added those videos to that video field. We actually added videos to that many to many field, but we have that through model now. So why is it actually still working? Well, that is actually one of the built-in features to Django with this through model is it will automatically make those instances for us. We don't have to do it. And so it will actually set all of this data on our behalf. I think that is so cool. So let's actually take a look at that in the admin itself. So let's go into the admin. We're going to bring the playlist item itself and we're going to go ahead and import that. So now I need to make a class playlist admin and it's going to take in models and or rather admin dot model admin. And we'll just go ahead and do class meta model equals to playlist. Feel free to augment this as much as you'd like. Uh, but what I want to do also is create something called a tabular inline. So playlist item inline and this is now going to be admin that tabular inline and the model is just going to be playlist item okay so i'll go ahead and add this into inlines and just like that so now i should have something really cool going on within the admin for these playlists so let's go ahead and jump into the admin and take a look. Okay, so we're in the admin and I actually added a few new videos, you know, when I wasn't recording. So let's go into the playlist and actually take a look. And let's make sure that the playlist admin is coming in here as well. Okay, so I refresh. And now what I see is down here, I actually have the ability to select a video and set it to a specific order, right? So I can actually add these things in here. How cool is this? So we can do this as one, this as two, this as three or whatever number we want. And I can give it a new playlist of my awesome playlist. And we'll hit save. And sure enough, it was added. And if I scroll down here, I'll have a few more in here that I can add. Now, a quick, easy way to change that is just say extra being zero. And this will actually give me just the option to add extra, but it won't have a bunch of already ready to be pre-filled, right? So it just gives me this option. So now my original many to many field is now this. And we can actually verify this by going into the shell. So if I go into Python manage.py shell and then do from playlists.models import the playlist and then get the object. So in this case, it's just my first one. So playlist.objects.first obj.videos.all. Wait a minute, what's going on? There it is right there. Uh, do note the ordering, right? So the ordering is showing up as anticipated. So I'm actually gonna open up another terminal window and I'm gonna change it. So source bin slash activate we'll CD into SRC and then run the server. So now I have two processes running, the server running and then my shell in here. So going back into the admin itself, we are now gonna change the order of these things. So object two, let's make this, I don't know, order five. I'll hit save and continue. Notice that it actually reorders everything for me and order five is there. So let's go ahead and look at obj.videos.all now, hit enter. <laughs> Wait a minute, it's the same order. What's going on here? Well, it actually doesn't seem like it really changed anything. So again, the method of how do I actually get the correct order, the order that I wanted back, how do I get that? By going into dir.obj, I actually should see something called the playlist item set. So now the actual query set that I wanna get is pl the playlist object, which we called obj. Right, so playlist obj. 
So we've got obj dot playlist item set dot all. And now if I do QS, I get the order of these individual instance items, right? So it's not the actual videos, but it is the things that are in those videos. So something we could try is just say values of video and hit enter and take a look at this QS. This is now giving me the actual IDs for each one of these videos. And as we see in here, it's actually correct, right? So I can also add video and let's go ahead and say order to these values. And if we take a look at that now, it is giving us not only the video ID, the actual save store database video ID, but it's also giving me the order as to which these things are coming through. Really, really cool. Now we'll see this displayed when we actually go into the views of things, but this is now showing me all of those things. It's showing me that it is actually creating this stuff for me. But how does this actually work when it comes to what I did with tests? So we talked about this at the beginning, this right here. What does that data actually look like? Well, let's actually try it out. So first and foremost, I'll go ahead and create a new video. So video.objects.create, and I'll give it some arbitrary name here. And I got an unexpected indent. That's what happens when you copy and paste things. And of course, videos aren't de uh, defined. So let's go ahead and import it. And we'll create that video. Okay, cool. So now OBJ, or let's call this video OBJ equals to video.objects.get. Or let's go ahead and just filter ID is greater than or equal to two or three, whatever. So that's actually a query set. So video OBJ is actually a query set of items here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a playlist OBJ. So playlist OBJ equals to playlist.objects.create and title being new playlist. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this now. So this.videos.set video OBJ, which again is a query set. And then we can go ahead and say playlist obj dot playlist item set dot all hit enter. What do you know? It actually gives me playlist objects themselves. And then yet again, I can actually run dot values of the video, the actual video field and the order field. And it will give me what I expect actually, which is the video IDs and then a order of one for each one. Now, why is it an order of one? Well, that actually has to do with the fact that we had this in as a default of one. That's it. That's the only reason that that's the ordering. So it's kind of up to the user then to set the ordering. This is kind of one of those orders that I would say, hey, you should set the order based off of, well, your choosing. And then the ordering that we'll use by default is the most recent one added will be at the very top. And that's gonna be what our default is. That's the programmer's default basically. And so going back into the admin, we can see this in action is we now see all of those video objects in here and they're in basically an arbitrary order. So we're gonna go ahead and now just go ahead and say one, two, three. And now it's in a set order and we're good to go. Cool. Um, so that is the through model. Yes, there's a lot more things that we could probably talk about here on how these through models work. And in fact, what we're gonna wanna do is we are gonna actually wanna write a test to ensure that the through model is working. So we're gonna wanna test the actual IDs from this query set against that through model.